Thank you. Now, if you go to the second ball out and walk towards us, we'll get the first shot. Fine, Bobby. <laughs> action! What's wrong? Well, I thought you were going to shout action in Gaelic. There's no Gaelic word for action. We've never needed one till now since we got that £10 million handout from the government. Oh, you mean a bit like culture? Exactly. There's no Gaelic word for culture either. But with 10 million smackers on our pooch, I'm sure we'll find one. Action! Hello, and welcome to the hard-hitting Euro-Gaelic news magazine, Locking Antlers. This is Govan on the Clyde, founded by expatriate Gaelic weavers. It was also the home of the great ships. Once it echoed to the clang of rivets. At... Hammer on rivets. Rivets don't clang on their own. Keep running. To the clang of hammer on rivets. The community was thriving, but now despair. Crime is rampant. Decent, honest, upstanding workers like... Now what's wrong? Well, it's the upstanding worker. He's fished. <laughs> Put his head in his hands. If we shoot him from the back and jiggle him with a stick, he might pass for distraught. A few more vox pops and we'll be out of here. This place is dead. <laughs> What have we got here? Found dead when I got her in the wee hours of last night. Seemed no sense in getting the doctor out of his bed. Death certificate's on its way. Do we know who he is? Nah, but we know what he is. Don't worry. Nothing in this lot that'll keep you off the golf course. Well, let's get him on the slab and have a look at him. Suppose in the course of your career, you must have seen all sorts of strange sights by now, eh, Doctor? I, I have that. Nothing surprises me. Nothing. <laughs> Another waster. What'll it be this time, do you think? Heart attack or cirrhosis? Both, in his case, by the look of him. Fetch me some disinfectant, will you? I'll open him up and see what fantastical low-life delights his addled organs have to offer. <laughs> well, I've never seen that before. What chance of us come go eh? If, 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 even, if even the doctors are just running about shimming each other, you know? <laughs> well, I've never got a bottle of chai on that fridge there. <laughs> I've got a mouth for an arse, you know? <laughs> at one time is a cheesy triangle and a four-pack. <laughs> well, at least we know you will look in the audience for Wheel of Fortune, eh? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of And I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, but don't you worry, it's the caffeine. Yeah, 
dessen fest. In the name of God. He's dead. That's this gone. Quick, go into the police. Tell them the heat pathologist that the Southern General's been malted by a corpse. <laughs> They'll want a description. Can you remember what he looked like? Oh, come on. He's a stiff, isn't he? The way he's dressed, he's not exactly going to be hard to find. <laughs> Come an evening dress, you know. White shroud and a body bag. Ah. Cheers. As this be a room, go smell a good chicken, a fork of garlic, air some subsidy, a fork and doolage, eelage, mar grant. I go some fair shalline government windfall. Sir. I guess had tour trip, which I can say live a corn of Achill game show so far, but I guess ethnic purity can run low enough. Good job of him, I can be. Oh, look, there's a character. Aye, we can't go in the VR. What's the documentary? I will make a return trip for program 93. He's too good to miss. That's that then, Jamesy, my man. You prepared for death. You've left a suicide note. Dear world, F off. <laughs> You've changed your wife fronts and left your nudie books to help the aged. Your life might have gone wrong, but at least in death, you'll be a legend. James Dean, Jimi Hendrix, and now, James A. Cotter. <laughs> it's funny how you get it all in perspective when you're close to death. Money, women, possessions. In the end, they just don't matter. Jeez, what a dump. You don't have seen some crap decker when you break into houses, don't you? No, you can see that again. Thieving bastards! <laughs> you get the video and I'll get the microwave, right? Eh, uh, sorry, pal, just help yourself. Oh, don't hit me! I I've got a plate in my head! Huh? Well, here are 40 half away. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, you have you done it, my pal? I never done nothing. Look, I was sitting there trying to talk myself. He was going to knock my microwave. He leaving scumbag. Well, if you were trying to talk yourself, what's it matter if he stole your microwave? It's no good to you where you are going. But that's not the point. Aye, oh, that's very much the point. How can you measure a man's life against a poxy microwave at a video on a stupid digital alarm clock? Oh, you're in serious soapy now, my friend. Cos you're going to be up for murder. What the...? Hey! Strathbyte police have claimed overwhelming success in their twin anti-violence initiatives, Operation Blade and Down. A police spokesman said that thanks to these initiatives, Glasgow was now the safest city in Britain. If we are the safest city, the rest of Britain must be like Fort Apache. I don't know, Kittness, but it's good that Glasgow's living doing its violent image. Or maybe you'd prefer moving back to the old days. I'm not talking about the old days. I'm talking about the present, boy. I mean, we live in a society where, where you can't buy a packet of fags without some close-circuit camera wanting a close-up of your pocket fluff. You've got to be where you go. There's some bugger wanting to film you, you know. Scratch your ass in a girl's teeth. They're all, they're all sitting during the police office with a popcorn out trying to get a panning shot of your sphincter. You need a wide-angle lens for your sphincter run. That's not a point of issue, yeah. Ah, well, if people would behave themselves, you wouldn't need to put cameras in our guile street. Uh, well, I agree with Nori. I think it's great there's less violence in Glasgow these days. Come on, Nillian. Cure for fantasy island. Uh, well, no offence, Rab, but judging by that get-up, you'll be first in the queue. I mean, what's it all about? Aye. Either you're psychologically deranged or you're going on a fun run. Which is it? Could be psychologically deranged and he's going on a fun run. What'd you say, Nasbat? What? 
a man goes out for a loaf of bread on a Wednesday fully clothed, wakes up three days later buff naked in a mortuary slab. What is the problem with that? He's right. It's the unexpected that makes life interesting. See, that's the trouble with you, Nisbet. In your eyes, there's nothing wrong with that kind of conduct. But your family must be up to high, don't we worry? I mean, what's Mary going to say? Don't you worry about Mary. I know exactly what Mary will say when I pop my head in the corner. What? Where's the breed? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you can laugh, but take it for me, Nisbet. Your days are numbered. Sooner or later, you're going to get into the kind of trouble that's too serious to get out of I read well, you're an expert. So news just in. Police have issued the description of a man they want to interview in connection with the death of a Glasgow pathologist. He's aged around 40, with a grubby bandage covering a head wound, and was last seen wearing a white blanket and a body bag. What are you all looking at me for? There's, there's a lot of people dressed like that. But you are the one we're looking for. Rad C. Nesbitt, we're arresting you in connection with a suspected murder. Murder? Have you anything to say before we take you into the police station? <sighs> Can we stop for a box of pampers in the way? <laughs> <laughs> You've had this coming for a long time, Nesbitt. You and the rest of your dinosaur tribe. Chalk another one up to Operation Blade. Listen, you can't leave me here. You can't leave me here, my aid. Who's leaving you on your aid? All right, up. <laughs> what have you doing here? I'm up for murder. <laughs> Operation Toasting Fork. <laughs> Rob. Right. Same as it. Same as it. I don't know. Blades, forks, flinging operation teaspoon the bastards with a full set of cutlery. It's a waiting nightmare, Mary Hunter. You're telling me, Ella. You send your man out for a loaf, and the next time you see him, he's been frog marched out the pub in a body bag, accused of running a mock in a mock. Even for Govan, that's unusual. What about you? I mean, James was close to talking himself when the burglars broke in. Aye, don't remind me. So near. <laughs> so far. Easy, Ella, easy. Come on, Govan's still a community. We've got friends in here that we can rely on for help. Oh, I'm just saying, is it times like this you look around you for support, eh? Support? Sorry, can I help you there? We're strangers here ourselves. Oh, don't give me that. Rob and James, they are your pals. You should be out there helping them to clear their names. But their names are Nisbet and Cotter. You couldn't clear their names with a blowtorch and a JCB. And it's the Malky, Mary. If it was anything else but the Malky's the big one. Aye, if it was a small one, maybe. Uh, or even two small ones with a medium one flung in, but... Excuse me. We're doing a documentary on the Govan community. We're Gales. Euro Gales. The Hebrides is her oyster. We're looking for a man in a head bandage and a body bag. Are you friends of his? <clears throat> well, they are me, but I still am. <laughs> Gallic fish. <laughs> is, there not, is there nothing in the world that's a problem with that? Aye, it's been up. There's another programme coming on in a minute. What? Gallic hour. What's on after that? Gallic half hour. <laughs> Is there, is there nothing in the airwaves that isn't made by these, these bastard gills? <laughs> oh, I hear something here. Uh, an in-depth interview with one of the stars of Coronation Street. Who? <laughs> Gail Platt. <laughs> I shouldn't be listening to that wireless anyway. 
Just a couple of hours ago, I was trying to talk myself. Oh, come on, you, James. You do not talk like that. You have so much to live for. Like what? Nothing. <laughs> I was joking. I was just being ironic to cheer myself up, you know. Anyway, you're right. You're going to top yourself, aren't you? That's garbage. I'm a survivor. A survivor, your ass. Oh, I'm going bald. I think I'll just talk myself. Oh, the telly is mine tonight. I think I'll just talk myself. Oh, the wife has left me. I think I'll just talk. That's enough, right? You shouldn't make fun of me. You don't know what I've been through since me and Ella split up. You and Ella's eyes splitting up. Anyhow, if you was that, if you was that keen to top yourself, how come you have ended up in the chokey, eh? For trying to mark that burglar. Tell me that. I've been asking myself that same question, Ram. And looking back on it, I think I had a religious experience. No, don't laugh. <laughs> I think it was God that told me to do it. <laughs> God, big Jehovah, spoke right into my ear hole. You got a problem with that? No yeah, way. What, what the hell would God have to say to a dodge of government scum like you? Because you'll talk to anybody, will not you? I mean, that's, that, that's why he's God, isn't it? He's an affable big deity. He doesn't have to see your credit rating before he'll spend a time a day with you. You're a good job, otherwise you're a bloody short conversation. <laughs> see yourself. Anyway, that's what I'm telling the judge. The judge? Oh, I get it. I get it now, eh? When in doubt, play the old Joan of Arc voices in the Napa card, eh? Here, 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 here. I thought you and I was in this together. We are in it together. He can talk to you, too. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I don't believe that, won't he? Hey, hey, God jumped about Restitution Street like a probie man on a Friday night. <laughs> oh, hello there, Robert! Oh, I haven't seen you in a couple of millennium. I'm actually just on my way over to James's house. He's about to milk you a burglar, so I thought maybe that a wee work to hear. Hey, uh, hey, anyway, all the best to you. And we'll maybe have a wee pint together sometime. Some lad, James, was it some lad? You've got to cheat in everything, haven't you? Hey, anyway, you're no Sir Lily White, are you? He's no wonder the National Health Services in the state it's in. We bams like you running about chipping all the doctors. I didn't! I did not jump the doctor. It was an accident. You say that again, I'll jump you. Aye, 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 aye. Well, no surprises there, Rabbit. You have never known the meaning of restraint, have you? Restraint is a restraint. I'll give you restraint, boy. I'll give you restraint. Any more restraint and I'll, I'll spontaneously come back. <laughs> Was that a fight? Well, I can combust as oh, well as... Oh, you see! What's that a fight about, eh? We were just discussing who's the most restrained. Well, in that case, uh, you are going to win hands down when I give you this wee piece of news, Nisbet. What news? You are the first to be interviewed by the CID. Eh? Out! And now, Garnic Hour, where we ask the burning question today. How many weaving songs are there on South Newest? <laughs> Name. Nesbitt, full name. Ram C. Nesbitt. Specialist subject, police brutality, but with great hope for a general knowledge time. Don't be a smart arse, Nesbitt. You're in serious bother. You malkied a police pathologist. Do you know how much it costs to train a pathologist? About ten pence and a toffee apple if they went to the same college as you bams. Oh, yeah. See, that see here report was right. There is too much overmanning and the bullies worse seen the old days. It would only have taken one of you to grab me by the throat. Oh. Yeah, you have me quite mastered the hard guy, soft guy routine, have you? you? You're supposed to chip me and you're supposed to come up with, with a lick of this old sort. The old days are gone, Nesbitt, and you're gone with them. You're going to be wiped off the interface of existence. Well, Stay the lad, boy! Real stay the lad! In the meantime, I've only got one question for you. What? How many weaving songs are there in South Europe? <laughs> oh, the crow 
Just be a wee dod of wax in my ear, you know. <laughs> and now, Gaelic half hour. And this week, a radical departure as we focus on the weaving songs of North Uist. <laughs> Hello again, and welcome back to Locking Antlers. I'm speaking to you from the home of Mary Nesbitt, one of the wives at the centre of the so-called Govan 2 affair. Hello. Kumaraha. <laughs> Mary, you're in the middle of a molten emotional maelstrom, are you not? Well, I'm, I'm at that. You are a woman alone. You are fighting to clear your husband's name as he stands on the brink of a murder charge. Mary, let me ask you the question that I'm sure will be on every Gaelic viewer's lips. What's your favourite South Uist weaving song? <laughs> a weaving song from South Uist. Or even North. Is there a piece of folk music that's helped you to stay courageous in this time of difficulty? A weaving song? I don't think you quite understand. My husband's up for the Malky here. The Malky? No. <laughs> so, uh, weaving is, is playing a pretty low-key part in our existence just at the minute. Well, I'm sure you can appreciate that. Actually, the more I think about it, the more angry I get. Oh, don't get me wrong. My rab is no angel, but he never blank anybody. Makes you wonder if there's any real justice left in this country. Indeed. And speaking of Scotland, Mary, I couldn't help noticing this wee kilted piper on your mantelpiece earlier on. And uh, what I'm sure our viewers would love to know is, which tartan is this? Oh, there's only one tartan in Govan Hen. That's fire tartan. And you better move yourself pronto, or else it's going to be all over your arse. Or I am about to ram this right up your oh, jacket. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, well, we're sorry for that break in the blocking. In the meantime, here's some music. Never mind, Della. I might have done some good. Maybe people will believe now that Govan's not a violent place. Aye. And he's a secret love child of Julian Clary. Shh. Don't tell everybody. Never mind that. Here's the good news. It's finished. Hello! Oh, this is just a start. Before long, there'll be symbols of support all over Govan. Yes! Ta-da! They turned me loose. God was merciful and gave that bastard burglar a heart attack. Yes! That's right. Where's Rab? Oh, he's still inside there. They're going to question him again before they charge him. But I'm a free man! Selfish bastard. <laughs> What do you mean? Show them, boys. Free, Free the, the Govan 2! Free the, the Govan 2! The Govan 2! Could you know I've pleaded guilty for a day or two? You know, to fun out their banner. How many ends in one? <laughs> Look, you don't understand. Oh, I understand, all right, boy, I understand. CID, is it? CID! MFI, me like MFI! <laughs> The amount of fitting up you buggers do. I will tell you this, boy. I will tell you this. You will not mouthy me without a struggle, have you? Because I'll tell you, see the minute my, see the minute my ass hits that court, hey, hey, I will be having some of my own questions to ask, will you? Like, how come, 
How come I can be certified deed and still be up for murder? Hey, how come I can wake up in the mortuary slab with some with some bastard poised, poised to slice in my tripes? Yet yeah, I'm the one that's up for a knife attack. I'll tell you this, man. There's only one knife attack in on run about here, and that is the car up you bastards is dealing me. Have you? What do you say to that? What do we say? We've finished our inquiries. You're free to go. <laughs> There's no case to answer. It was an accident. We're very sorry you've been troubled. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Nescaf Nisbet. Ahi, 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 But you must be thrilled with this outcome. Are you planning a wee break now to get away from it all? Are you kidding? My skin me two veins. We've got hee-haw money to go jetting off about the place, haven't I? <laughs> On the other hand, me, eh, there is a traditional method for getting a all expenses luxury weekend for two. <laughs> what do you think? I'm game if you are, Rav. Right? Aye. <laughs> 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 